We're losing! Teamwork, guys. More teamwork. They're burying us alive! Well, shit. Jeez, Louie. Honey, don't you want to beat those bastards? We're gonna be winners. What's the matter? You got nothing left inside, huh? Because you're training like a damn bum, you know that. Screw them. What are I you doing? Dead. What are people doing? Is this early access to. Hey, let me tell you something, bro. Get out there now and do the best you can. All right, look at those three faces. Just look at them, will you? Welcome. Episode 171, Bad Fodder Figures, Sunday, July 25th. Eric, so good to see your smile. Look at those 8K hey, televisions man. behind you, PlayStation Ooh, and Xbox. You catching that, Matt? You catching that? Lovely. I mean, the man is showing off. The man is, is showing that he's not a heathen. He is not I, a heathen. He is showing off his wares. That's a flex. That's a that's what we call a flex. It is. I, I don't. I don't think that's a flex. I really don't. It you is know? a flex. That's a flex. Not, as a flex, as a man who is proud and knows what he's got, and he's telling the world, "Look the fuck at me, and look okay. what I can do." And the that's, uh, that's, the electric company is thankful as well. Oh, mean. absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, you know, people say that all the time, but my electric bill is surprisingly low. I don't know about very what low, think. very low. Oh, you know, before we start, Mike. Yes. Got to wish. We got to wish somebody a happy birthday, man. Who yeah. we wishing a happy birthday to? Uh, Maniac Seventeen, Jay. Jay, yeah. turning turning yeah. the big the big five zero five zero man. Welcome what to the, the club, fuck? Jay. Welcome to the club, Chance. Incredible. I haven't, heard, I haven't heard from Jay in a while, so let's hear from him. Ready to fucking chuck this computer out the goddamn fucking window. <laughs> Sounds like he's having a great first nightmare, that is. <laughs> Fuck he's you, you great... piece of shit. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Jesus, I should have stayed in fucking bed this morning. Oh, fuck <clears throat> you, you fucking piece of fucking shit. Hey, it fucking works. Yep. <laughs> All right, good to hear wow. from you, Jay. Good to hear from you, Jay. Man, I'm like Jay's having a hell of a day. <laughs> yeah, jeez, Louise. Jeez holy Louise. moly! Such language right off the top of the show. Happy birthday, Jay! What the fuck? What the fuck? That was a blast from the past. <clears throat> oh, shit. But here we are, Sunday nighters, getting ready yep. for the getting ready for the work week. What is going on, Matt? How are the Reds? You got your coach's gear on, like you were on the sideline. Mm -hmm. I've been, I've been out there. I've been out there helping them along, coaching them, making them. You know, be, I'm, I'm out there with. The, I'm the inspiration in the dugout you, there. You, you look like an NFL coach more than the baseball coach, but that'll yeah. work. I've been watching uh, yeah. a lot of Ted, Ted Lasso, and you look like you could be on the sideline for a soccer game. What? FC Cincinnati fucking sucks, by the way. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> but yeah, Red, Red's been doing good. They they almost swept the Cardinals. Lost today by a few runs, maybe you know. But yeah, Red's doing good. I, hot, they're hot right now. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah, well, I've been reading. You know, keeping abreast of the uh, trade deadline, and they're saying uh, Reds could be sellers. Could be moving a couple of your guys. Be happens. curious to see who. Be yeah, curious guess, to see who. I guess that punk ass bitch got hurt, so they came, might not trade him. But you know who I'm talking about. Um, but he he was rumored to be traded, maybe. But he said he got hurt. He got a little ouchy. What's what's the latest with uh with with our boy Nick? What happened to him? He got hit by a ball for one thing. Okay. Oh jeez. Got got hit on the got hit on the wrist. So he he's out for a couple of days. The yeah, just, he's a little hurt. He's a little hurt there. That inside pitch called karma got him. Got to hate when that happens. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, but just you know, just because you're jealous because it didn't happen because he wasn't on an awesome team. No, you know, you know. that's all. Hey, it would so be a whole other story. It'd be a whole other story if you played for the Red Sox. 
Red Sox is second best team in the in the uh, all of baseball. Second yeah, best. Second best. Second, second who's the best first? Who's, who's the first best? Giants. Okay. Yeah. So. Not bad. Yeah, that's time for some some hot stove baseball this week. Trade trade deadline is coming up very very soon. Uh, yeah, all, the week right, thirty first. Yep, all sorts of yeah. sports stuff going on. You know, prior to the show, we were talking about how COVID is on the upswing, and uh, yeah. NFL is cracking down. You know, they're saying yeah. uh, if the games cannot be played within the eighteen week schedule, they will f- the team will forfeit their games, and the other team will get the automatic victory, and players will not be paid. Wow. Well, I haven't found that where they said the players haven't been played. Where they won't be paid? Yeah, I haven't yeah, seen you gotta that. Yeah, re- you got to read that big um, the big I've document. I've seen where, it, where the team could be responsible for losses genuine, generated from not being played, but I haven't seen where players would not get paid. Yeah, you got to read that big uh, memo that they sent to the teams. It said that they won't get their weekly paycheck. Did you guys see the uh, the thing from Minnesota Vikings? They they fired one of the coaches because he wouldn't get vaccinated. No, yeah, Patriots. He left. Patri- yeah, Patriots. Same thing. I don't think they fired the guy, but he just he opted out. Okay, yeah. that's what happened. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah same, yeah, same as the guy from the Vikings. Yeah, I said, no, oh, okay, I'm leaving. Well, they said they re- they reported today that you know all this you know hubris about getting uh, players vaccinated. They're at an, League wide now, they're at about eighty percent. So they say it's working. And I saw something today. Someone tweeted out the CDC tweeted out a little while ago. Said over the last twenty four hours, seven hundred and ninety thousand uh, citizens have been vaccinated in the last twenty four hours. Wow, that's so, good for twenty four so hours. Yeah. That's the last. That's the most since uh, early July. That's your PSA, people. Do the right thing. Um, but yeah, football. It's gonna. It's um, training camp starts this week. Hard to yeah. believe. You know, basketball just ended, uh, so football comes right along with training camp. They'll be playing preseason games here in just a little bit. Um, the Olympics are going on. Anybody watching the Olympics at all? Yeah, yeah. I watched the uh, the United States basketball team get blown out by France. First and loss since I don't know when for the yeah, yeah since like ninety three or something like that. So let me I'm I'm trying to figure out. I guess the superstars aren't playing or something. There's no uh, like LeBron or Steph Curry. I saw Draymond Green and and like some other guys, but like the Kevin big guys Durant, didn't, Kevin. Well, they're not. Yeah. you know, it's. I think some guys might have already won before, so it's old hat for them. You know. The dream team is no longer like it was back in yeah, '92. Because this this squad is. They didn't hmm, win gold know. last time, did they? I thought they haven't uh, been that great. I thought they haven't been that great in a long time. I thought like you know, other teams have caught up to them by now. Because there's you know a lot of international players in the league right yeah, now as it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've I've watched pretty of- much zero Olympics. I was just before I came down to record the show. The wife had it on, and gymnastics was on. I was watching. Um, I didn't get to see uh, Simone Biles uh, do her routine, but I saw two other um, U.S. athletes do their routine, and I was like, "All right, that's enough. Got to go podcast." So sorry, I'm going to miss the rest of this. But it's strange not to see anybody there in the stands, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's odd. Yeah, it's odd uh, watching. I'd see people out there you know, saying stuff. I got to be consistent like the cup of coffee at McDonald's. You got to put a little asterisk next to that medal. Nobody in the stands. Nobody in the stands. Just like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and your Tom Brady when they won the Super Bowl. You got to put a little asterisk by that, right? Well, you got to put an asterisk that there was, there was fans in the stands at the Super Bowl, but not the whole season, right? That's the thing. That's the thing. So be consistent. Super- Got to be consistent like that cup of coffee. Did you see Tom? See uh, Tom today throwing to the jugs machine. Usually the jugs machine throws to you. He was throwing to the jugs machine. The jugs machine was yeah. catching it, and then he backed yeah. up and gunned it, and he knocked the damn machine over. 
That dude got some accuracy, man. You know how accurate you got to be to do that, man? The fucking dude's got to leave some for the rest of us. Jesus Christ. He's the only guy that gets better looking and better athlete the older he gets. Oh, if you saw him when he came right out of the draft, he had like a dad bod. He wasn't a good looking guy. Jeez, 20 something. He was an ugly motherfucker. I mean, he, he was not NFL material. Hey, man, yeah. money gets you. <laughs> but, but they say money can't buy you everything. Jeez. Shit. Shit. Like it can. Shit, man. Come on. Yeah. You think he's? I like. What do you think? You think he's the, the they're the odds-on favorite to win again? The Bucks, they pretty much got the same team. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't think I don't think the Bucks are going to do it again this year. Oh, look at you. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I don't think the, I don't think the Washington Football Team is going to do it either. But I don't <laughs> think the I don't think the Bucks are going to do it. Nah. Okay, that's too early to tell. You got to see how. Yeah. You got to see how yeah. preseason shakes out. Guys get hurt. Speak, yep, speaking exactly. of uh, generic. Team names, no. Cleveland. 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 They yeah. they really uh they really went all all out. They just swapped a few letters around there, huh? Exactly. You talking about saving some money? Went from Indians to Guardians. Hey, now, what hey, is, hey uh, we, can, uh, we, can, we can make this work. Now, what well, is, they got a name though? Shoot. Now, what does Guardians mean? I I watched a little bit of the uh, Tom Hanks commercial thing for it, but I didn't. I had to get back to work. I didn't watch. It was like two or three minutes long. I didn't, I didn't see the rest of it. Was there some Cleveland, rationale? The city of Cleveland has got these, um, you, you know, like gargoyles on buildings and shit, you know? They've yeah. got these on the, some of the expressways and shit coming in, these big statues and stuff. It was all, you know, the guardians of the city. So oh, I thought you were going to tell me they had a, like a big population of guardian angels. Remember the guardian angels from the 80s? On the subways, oh with the, yeah, with, with yeah, the berets huh? yeah. and the fatigues. It was a New York more so thing, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I guess they were everywhere. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, WFT still hanging strong. They going to remain the Washington Football Team for this year too, at least. Probably too late to make a name change right now, right? You got to <laughs> do it in right in the beginning of the off season. Not like a, yeah, not I would like, think so. Not like two days before preseason. Can, uh, I think camp I think up. we're used. To- I think we're used to it, though. So people, they, I, I think they should just keep it. If you I just, you want to say, I, th- I think it's a given. I think it's just going to say Washington football team, Might the well. generics. Yeah, I just think they're yep, going to make a change. I think they're going to make a change. I think so. Yeah. I think someone's going to pressure them, Goodell or someone, make a name change. I don't you, know. You don't know. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's. I think Washington football team is not controversial, so I think they should keep it. It's yeah, I think. It's, I think it's kind of sticking. I think by this time next year we'll have a name. There'll be something. Yeah, Washington Gen- so. Washington football generals, you know, something, something along those lines, something military patriarch, something to get them back in the good graces because they've had a lot of bad publicity. Whether you know, um, you know the. Indecent uh, work conditions, you know, the owner sex scandal and all yeah, that. Mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Washington sexies. See, Matt, we're trying to get away from that. We're not trying to pile on. Okay. Yeah. So, the Washington prostitutes. All right, we're desperately trying to get away from the subject right now. Um, I don't know about you guys, where you are, but where I am right now. We are having an infestation of mosquitoes and bugs of biblical portions. I can't go outside. I literally can't go outside. We had um, all the floors and painting got done last week on Friday, right? And we had one chair in the garage, and I was just mowed the lawn yesterday. And I said to Lynn, I said, you know, we got to move this chair upstairs. I don't want the fabric smelling like, you know, a combination of, of gasoline and grass. I go, we got to get this thing out of the garage. I got to tell you, we opened up the garage door, and it was just like a fucking wall of fucking mosquitoes outside. And there's some in the house now from opening up that stupid garage. I can feel them around here. I killed two a little while ago. Fucking, it's a boat. boat. All that rain we had, you know, I have a little, about sh- I have a little stream behind my house. Yeah, that's what just, it is. There's a fucking breeding ground back there. And, uh, boy. There's a lot of fucking mosquitoes, real bad. And I don't. In- Go ahead. 
Is there anything in the stream, like any other stuff, like frogs and all kinds of stuff? Oh, like yeah. That? We got we got toads and turtle. We have a snapping turtle that lays eggs in our mulch every year. Say, because it, it's stuff you can put in the water to kill the mosquitoes, but yeah. the large I'm buying, and all that. buying one of those zappers and stick it out. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. I'd be out stomp around your mulch crushing them fucking eggs. What, the turtles? Fuck yeah. Why? Why not? <laughs> what do I care about the turtles? They're just under the mulch. I don't even see them. Why, why don't you want little saying. baby turtles? Why are you stomping on them? Well, you, just, you just complain about snapping turtles. So if, you know, well, if I, mean, you I, was, I was complaining about the mosquitoes. I wasn't complaining about the snap. Mother comes, trust our yard as her sanctuary every year. She lays her eggs, and then she never sees these kids again. That's the type of mother she is. She comes to the same spot Perfect. every year annually, lays her eggs, Perfect. and... Boom! See you later. Rolls out. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. Little little things. They're like like little like half dollars. It's amazing. They grow up to be big things that snap your toes and shit off. They yeah, don't go in that water though. It's not like it's not like water you would ever go in. So I don't give a shit. Um, but yeah, the bugs are becoming a problem here, and I'm not liking it. <laughs> Matt, about to like get cold thing. soon though. So it's about to get cold right in a little bit. Right. It's July, I'm Eric. A- it's July. I know. I know that I'm like you know trying to be wishful thinking here, but I'm still a realist. It is still fucking July. It's not getting cold anytime soon. Tomorrow's cold. eighty-eight. What the temperature? The Tomorrow's temperature is eighty-eight degrees. degrees. Right around September, right? That's when it starts getting a little cooler for you guys, right? Yeah, I mean, about two months from now. Yeah. So it's August right now, basically. So it, yeah, it ain't gonna be long. Middle of end of September, we might see a little bit of change. Yeah, for sure, but. We're in August. We're in July right now. We're still in the thick of it. Yeah. So, I can feel one fucking flying around right now, pissing me off. God damn it, <laughs> so, what's going on with you guys? Anything? How was your week? You seem subdued, Matt. You all right? Everything okay? Everything copacetic? Everything's just peachy around here. Oh, I can. I sense. Peachy. I can sense it like the fucking the Jedi. You know. <laughs> There's a disturbance in the force, Eric. Um, you know, the man- baseball is done, right, Matt? Baseball Thank is done. fucking God. Thank so, fucking God baseball so, is done. Okay. So you should be Oh, I'm so happy about that. Man, I'm you. so happy. I'm so relieved about that. You know, that's just the best thing ever when that shit's over. But I thought you were going to no. um, I thought you were going to come on tonight in like a, some sort of like chef's outfit over there. If you want to. Tell these people about your uh, your crunch dinner that you had the other night. What was this? Where was this concoction? That was delicious. I mean, I made I made crunch wrap supremes. I don't know if you, Eric Taco Bell crunch wrap supreme. Nah, I don't eat tacos. <clears throat> I tell you what, man, this is this is goddamn beautiful. You know, I, you know, I bought I bought myself a Blackstone flat top. Yeah, grill. yeah, yeah. You I don't say. Yeah, you yeah. don't say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so so he's doing everything on there. You're, you're just cooking everything on that grill, huh? So far, so far. Put some fucking right. Twinkies on that thing, man. Brown I, I do some fried, do some fried Twinkies on it. Of course, I don't like. Tw- I'm not fan. You know, I'm not fan Twinkies. Everyone gets all up and. But I mean, you might Twinkies. like them fried though. How do you know nah, you don't like them fried? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Twinkies are like the most boring thing out there. You got fucking. It's like eating a sponge with some cream in the middle. You know. I don't know. I don't. I don't mean to hog the story here, but there's nothing that makes hey, me. Man. There's nothing that turns me red and irritated as quickly as a bad handle. Get. I am fucking over the traditional hot dog bun. The traditional hot dog bun can go kiss itself. Okay. I hate the traditional hot dog bun like there's no tomorrow. I got a last week when I did the shop and I got some nice potato rolls. Like right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put the yeah. the hot dog. Went right into the right into the bun, plenty of room for my condiments. Mm-hmm. Uh, this week, the wife went shopping and she got the traditional hot dog bun. Whoever the company was, they didn't do a good job of pre-slicing it, right? And so they're all Hell stuck apart. together. I got to pull it apart. I got buns that have like two slots, like I could put two hot dogs in, but they're like this, like thin, a thin layer of bread. I put the hot dog in. Everything topples over. The condiments go everywhere. I pick it up. I got a handful of mustard and ketchup. Oh, there's nothing that just like sets me off worse than a fucking bad handle. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I hate the fucking hot dog bun where your fucking hinge breaks. You know? Yeah, like you, no. I want to just a, a good, a nice, 
a nice potato roll. Give me a nice potato bun. Boom. Pause, pop that hot dog in there. It can hold it. It's got some strength. It's got some girth to it. Load it up with the condiments. Everything fits in there like a nice glove, and I'm good to go. Now, obviously, Mike, over you know on the East Coast there, your your hot dog buns are mainly that the split top on the top open. I think the split yeah, yeah, yeah. roll. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's, I mean, that's mainly what your type of bun is over there. Is that correct? For hot dogs, yes. Yeah. There's yeah. a brand called uh, Kayim, K-A-Y-E-M. They make the hot dogs and they make the buns. And this is the type of bun that you got. And their machine needs to be altered because, all right, I know how to fucking pull a bun apart from another bun. But there should be a clear delineation. Like, here's my pocket. Like, why do I have this, like, little extra pocket? What am I doing with this little extra pocket now? There should just be one big opening that the hot dog b- goes in. Mike is, so up or Mike is so serious about something. his hot dog, but this is not a game, <laughs> no, right? No, I, I, Eric, <laughs> I, I got agree. I got agree with Mike here. There's nothing more serious than your fucking handle for your fucking food, okay? You know. <laughs> A good goddamn bun, a good goddamn piece of bread, you know, for your sandwich and shit, man. Uh, no, I'm with my 100% on this one here, man. It makes all the goddamn difference to your food. Yes. That that the how that 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 bread, that handle, as you know, as he says and as I have said, makes all the fucking difference in the world. Okay, yeah, you know, for your food. Does you I mean you? Uh, the presentation goes out the window when I put the hot dog in the in the bun and the bun tips over. And all of a sudden, I got all my mustard and ketchup smeared all over the, all over the goddamn fucking plate. You're right. And then, God it forbid, if I went the extra length to put some chopped onions in there, the chopped onions would be everywhere too. With all your yeah, with all your yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, you made the, you made these crunch things. They went over like has uh, but has has Taco Bell reached out with you with the uh, cease and desist letter yet? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'm waiting because I'm going to tell him. I say, well, this is a real fucking food I made here. What? That's what you guys make. I mean, it's when real. are you putting the helmet on yeah. and making your, your, putting this shit on your channel? I need what? to. I, 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 yeah. I, I need to <laughs> grill with my helmet on. <laughs> so, we can see, so we can see the action going on on this grill. Yeah. Is there, is there something that you don't want to cook on it? Like, like you're apprehensive about cooking on it? Oh, hell, I'll try anything. Eric, I'll try anything. Don't put fish know. on. Don't put fish on that thing. No, I, I don't know. I might. I might get some. You know. Well, I'm not a fan of fried fish. Sometimes, mm. it, fried fish is hard to do unless you go to the you know restaurant and buy it. And that, but no, I don't know. I'll, I'll try anything on this thing. I'm looking forward to doing some different things. The next thing I want to try is some uh, some Chinese, some, some nice uh, fried rice, chicken fried rice, or. Are you gonna make it I'm like you at a or something like that. at the restaurant? You gonna you gonna have the yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's when that's when I have Barb there fucking recording me as I'm flipping shit around doing shit. That's did, that's when the did all those like. did all those flippers come with the thing or did you have to buy those separately? No, I, uh, you gotta buy all that shit. No, thanks on, no, thanks I, on I, the I, show. I, yeah, exactly. Hey, <laughs> right, Biden bucks, Biden bucks for the win, baby. Nice, that's right. So, I love it so far. And you wheel it into the garage every night after you're done? Or you leave no, it not now, because my, my, my covers and everything came in for us. So now it's sitting underneath our house. Back of our house, we got a little overhang, so it's parked underneath there to where... Uh, so so no buyer's know. remorse at all. You're just happy with it as a as you yep. could be, right? I'm, right, I'm cool. totally happy with it, yeah. Mm, yeah I've got all my cooking utensils I need outside now, so... Good. Well, Eric did a lot of uh, lifting today. He's building out, you know, Glovebox Gaming Gym. Of course, we failed to say right. that we are a subsidiary of Glovebox Gaming, and pretty soon we're going to have gym memberships. Eric's going to be Ooh, hanging and banging right. in the garage. Hanging and banging. Hanging yes, and banging. Uh, yes, sir. Apollo Creed <laughs> style. That's right. I cleaned out my garage, Matt. Let me tell you something. It was an ordeal, bro. Let me tell you. I rented one of those yeah. uh, roll-off dumpsters. How much shit did you have in your garage? I had a lot of shit to fill that up. I tell you what, and uh, the things ain't cheap, but I got it done. It's done. What are you going to so, do now in your garage? Turn it into a gym. A gym. I'm putting down the, uh, you know, the rubber flooring. I'm putting TVs yeah. up in there. I'm putting all the gym equipment. I'm getting the uh, Peloton bike. Wow. Yeah. 
go crazy, bro. Yeah. No, I, no. I, I just saw where. Good. I, I just okay. saw where Peloton's got like a video game thing now that you can get for their bikes and stuff. So I'm sure that's going to be right up your alley where you can pee on Probably. your bike doing a video Probably. game thing. Who knows? Why not? I mean, it the, will be. The purists say, Eric, you know, you can get, you need to get that out of your mind. You just need a yeah. space that you can move, you know, do some, do some calisthenics, some jump rope, you know, yeah. get that, get that little thing. My uncle's always, my uncle's always had this roller thing, right? With like the handles and the abs. wheel. That's good for your right. abs. That's right. They had like, yeah. they had like the old school, like weight bench with the yeah. towel. I'm, 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 I'm gonna the have towel all that. in the middle, so when they did the, like their squats and stuff, they weren't yeah. like with the the rusty uh, bar wasn't like messing oh, they, up. They, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm have a I'm gonna have a, a mix of old and new. Let me tell you something. You, you, you know, know honestly, right? Mike. You know, what I want to see Mike. I want to see Eric and one of them old machines, them old timey machines. That just put the belt around shake you. the fat. <laughs> nah, you won't you won't be seeing that then, bro. I was traumatized. My mother used to go to um, Richard Simmons. <laughs> You know how we used to have like, um, yeah. used to have like um, franchises, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. To, and I was a little kid. She used to go there, you know, for like an exercise club, and I'd be stuck like in the playroom or whatever with a bunch of other kids. And they would leave the door open, and I'd see all these fat women on the shaking machines trying to shake the fat off them. I want to yeah. see Eric do that. I want to see Eric in one of them. You'll, you'll never see that. But uh, when I get it done, man, Eric's supposed to say I don't have any fat to shake off. I'm just trying. I got to, lots of I'm just trying to get lean. I got lots of fat to shake off, but we're gonna get it done, man. It's gonna be really nice, man. It'll be cool. Everything doesn't yeah, need to just... be nice, though, Eric. That's what I try to tell myself going forward. Is that it sometimes does. you sometimes you get way down in the details, and you just got to get right into it. And start walking, like like Matt just goes walking and has lost a ton of weight. I do that too. I've been actually, you know, for the past maybe since I got back from Cali, I've been running every day, bro. I'm yeah, trying. So I'm trying. To, I can't get into the running. I'm running from your mailbox and back doesn't count, Eric. You got to no run. Nah, for nah, nah bro. I'm running on average at least two miles. Okay. No one looks, no one looks like they're having fun running. It fucks. Up I my agree knees. with that. It fucks up my knees. You know what though? But you know what though? You feel so much better afterwards, bro. I'm I'm so serious. And invariably, I, I got to take a piss like halfway through running. All of a sudden, all that water so, starts like so, sloshing around in there. So stop and oh, take a piss. Yeah. yeah, there's there's too much movement going on for me to be run. Even still, to run, it's like, ugh, no way, man. There's too much, yeah, sloshing around. Man, I gotta, I gotta get in shape, bro. I used to be a beast. I gotta be a beast again. I don't need to be a so, beast. I just need to lose a little weight. I have like realistic expectations. Like, I can't go like beast mode. You know, I work a job that fucking is very demanding. I need to relax to fucking unwind to get away from that job. I don't have working, like working out will make you relax. No, it won't. It will just make me angry, and then someone will end, <laughs> someone will end up getting He's like someone, a hawk. It just make me angry. <laughs> someone will end up getting bundled very quickly. Can't, I can't he said, no, it won't. No, it won't. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> no, it won't. It's not, it's not a stress reliever like the rest of us, Eric. You know, go out there and go for a walk. Yeah, do an exercise. Makes, you kind of relieve some stress. Yeah, it makes not you feel my, good, man. Yeah, yeah. walking. Like a, n- a nice brisk walk, sure. Yeah, you know, oh, lifting, yeah. lifting a little weight. Yeah, but the running, no, the running can go fuck itself. Yeah, run, I agree with her. I agree. I agree 100. Okay, okay. So when I'm running, it's not like there's no purpose to running. It's not like I'm trying to break any records or anything. I'm just running slow, bro. It's not a yeah. big deal. You're jogging then. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, I'm jogging. I think when we sell the house down the Cape, I'm gonna get something. I don't know if it's a Peloton or whatever. I gotta look at something. I need some something I can use back here. I lost a lot of weight when I got married, right before I got married. And I was doing the treadmill all the time. And I had a Dreamcast yeah. up. I had this, like, before I finished the basement in my old house, I had this, like, sort of wood paneling basement and had a shelf. And I put, like, the uh, a 360 up there and I put a Dreamcast. And I would just get on the treadmill and I'd be playing, like, you know, NB, like, 2K games on the Dreamcast. While you was walking or whatever? Yeah, but you know, sometimes you, I'd always be hitting the front of the treadmill. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> I got maybe. I, uh, what do you think? You lose more weight on a treadmill or on like an exercise bike, like one of those sit-down bikes where you can, like, you know, you, you're just pumping your legs. You think either one are the same, or you think you lose would lose get a better a better overall uh, exercise on like a like a tr- standing up treadmill. As opposed I mean, to one personally, of those. Personally, well, I think a bike. I think a bike. 
depends on how much like I don't know. It depends on how much movement you got going with the with the treadmill. The arms swinging and your legs moving and power walk. Burn more calories. Yeah, burn more like calories. that lady. We've all seen that lady doing that power walking. That yeah. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. So all right. So we're gonna have glove box gym. You can keep you know you can keep the same initials and go glove box gaming, glove box gym. You know you're yeah. good to go. I GBG. got it all planned out. I got it all planned out. It's going it, it yeah, does have know. to look good. It has to look good, bro. It doesn't doesn't always. It can be old school. Yes. Apollo Creed. Go look yeah. up Apollo Creed when he yeah. started in the beginning in those 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 gyms yeah. there. Those, yeah. But, but I think if I if I make it more appeasing to me, I'm going to want to be out there more, so. Yeah, that means you're going to have more TVs out there and shit. You know. That's what yeah, that's, that's what he's looking at. Nah, I spend more time out there, yeah. 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 I'm not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have any gaming apparatus out there whatsoever. Nothing. What are you gonna do for the heat? I got a guy who's gonna uh put in a uh <laughs> it's a heating and refrigerator thing, you know, that you, that you put up on the wall. Yeah. I got it all planned. I'm telling you, it's gonna all be right. sick, bro. It's gonna be sick. Well we, we, you know, color me shocked over here, right? Yeah, I mean, no, it, yeah, I mean, we we know. It, it, I mean, it, it's going it's, it's going to be sick. like the most awesome garage gym. No, it's not going to be awesome. It's going to be. It will it's be. be nice. It's going to be it's awesome. Gonna be nice. It's going to be, nice. gonna be awesome because I know you, when you, Eric, I know because when you do something, okay, you do it right. That's right, and you I can't do it. Do right. it I, and I can't but, do it any other way, Matt. I can't. But do it exactly. No, I take this is going to be. I take it back. Everything. A lot of things I take back to the music, right? And if Chase is listen. You know, the good bands, right? The bands that are worth any salt, they just got up on stage and played with the fucking whatever whatever equipment they could scrounge up, right? All the suburban yeah. nerds that had the nice drums with all the cases and all the amps and all the right, you know, the Jackson guitars and all the nice pointy this and this. That's true. Yeah. But those see, dudes, it, those dudes always... It's- it, but here's what you're missing. Go pound those sand. good bands that those good bands that started out like that yeah. in the garage and at the bottom didn't have any money. When they got popular, <laughs> when they got popular, like Aerosmith and all those guys, they not playing on in the garage no more, bro. They're yeah. just not. But they're, not <laughs> they're, just, they're not doing that. But you can tell they lost. They lost it too, though. They don't have the same edge. You think? Well, their bank know. account didn't lose out, but they didn't have the same edge. They Anyways. sold out, Mike. Is that kind of what you're saying? They kind of like sold out type of thing. No, I think um, you know if we're talking specifically about them, I think it's just you know money is the, is the root of all evil. There, the guys' songs started getting written by just you know certain members or whatever. It was no longer a collaboration. It was more of a you know, hey, I'm here's the new song we're playing. You know, <laughs> yeah. God damn, I think I got bit by a mosquito on my fucking hand. Son of a bitch. See him flying around. You need, see him flying you, around. You need Can to put you? one of them. You need to no. put one of them lights <laughs> down there. You need to put one of those. My, I tell. <laughs> I texted Lynn early. She's like, when the zapper <laughs> comes Tuesday, you can have it down here first. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Flashy bullshit. That's right, Chase. You know what I'm talking about. The flashy bullshit. We've all seen those bands roll out their flashy bullshit. Sometimes yeah. you got to have some flashy bullshit. Yeah. Well, Sometimes. Eric, good for you, man. I, ho- I hope you, when you get it all done, you actually go out and you out oh, yeah. there, you know, well, you get know, that rock theme playing in the background and that, exercise and sweat to the oldies. Don't overdo I mean, I it, though, I... Eric. Don't overdo no, it. No, no, no. Like no, Uncle no. Don says, our heart only has so many beats. You know, it, can only, it only has so many before, you know. I'm not, I, I don't think I'm trying to get back to, like, my, my fighting weight back in about, about 1987 or nothing like that. Yeah. But, you know, you're just trying to be healthier, man. You're just trying, trying to get winded during missionary is what you're saying. Exactly. <laughs> when, I'm in my, when I'm in my gorilla pose. <laughs> And John are looking back at me. I'm going to put terror in her face, bro. <laughs> oh, God. It all, comes back. it all comes back to that. That's right. Put That's right. terror. No. Yep. That's right. Okay. As long as we know. Well, you've been off for, you've been off for work a couple of days. Is that right? Yeah, I've, been since, I've been off since Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Go back um, tomorrow, you know. Man, so, but do you know what to do? So, <laughs> yeah, so, bes- well, yeah. so besides cleaning the garage, you get into any gaming at all? Playing anything? Yeah, I got that new game, man, on the Xbox. Uh, Death Door. Playing that. 
It's uh pretty good. It reminds me of Diablo a little bit, a little, little taste of Diablo. I can't get into it. I can't get into it. I bought it. Mm-hmm. So did far, you play it? Did you, did you get past the little hallway where you got to go up the steps? That's about the only part you got to. No, no, no. I beat the first boss. Okay, well that like that like octopus fine. that octopus thing or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, now I'm in some other um, some other area, you know, cemetery, the lost cemetery or whatever. And you got to go through the certain doors and all that to yeah, take yeah, you to. Yeah. I mean, I like that it's not a roguelike. So you know, well, you like die you know, a lot. Yeah, yeah, you're not starting over. I mean, there. I'm not sure about the checks, the checkpoint system right now. But what do you think about? It? You think it's like Diablo? I don't know. It's it's it not as fast paced as it, Diablo. No, it's not as fast paced, but it reminds me of Diablo. I guess because of the view, the perspective of it. You know, right, it's a down. it's a nice looking game for sure. Yeah. Uh the concept is low because you're a crow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you're yeah, a, uh, a you're a reaper, right? You're trying to collect yeah. a soul. Soul, like, so you could take them back to the. Yeah. But while you're. While your door or gateway is open, you continue to age. I haven't come across that yet. Like I haven't seen my character get old and age or anything. But I think that's Neither. they tell you that. Just like hey, just so you know, you know, yeah. you will you, you will age as you go along. And the reason why I think it's okay because the price point wasn't that bad. Was it nineteen ninety nine something like that? Yeah, it was sixteen ninety nine um, on sale if you bought it like the yeah. first first day or so. So for that amount of money, you know, and I hate to bring it down to that, but that that amount of money, it seems like it's okay. It seems. But well, like people are loving it. I mean, it is it is not yeah. like my type of game, but people mm-hmm. that are you know into those more like Souls like games, are definitely loving it. I mean, it's it's a, it's going to be in the game of year conversation, no doubt about it. When you see the the nominations at the end of the year, unless a lot of bangers come out between now and then. Um, you know, some of the pundits already are saying it's in their game of the year list. That reminds you of a Souls type game, you think? I think so. You got the big bosses that you come across, you do a little exploring, and even the enemies that you're coming across are pretty tough. And then you got a big boss to fight. I, I think it reminds me somewhat like the Souls games. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. That's. That's mainly what I've been playing. That and Overwatch. Overwatch is having their summer event where they. Oh. Yeah. Not a good. It's, not it's, a good week for the Overwatch. Um, Activision. Yeah. People. Yeah. But, not a good. Mm, not a good week. But not Overwatch a, is always not a good fantastic. look. Real, real quick, while we talk on that. Mm-hmm. Maybe I have been lucky. But I have never worked in an environment like that. I don't know if you guys have read the stories so, and stuff. So toxic, so so just messed up. Yeah, I um, heard. About, I heard. I was like, story. like, like I don't remember all the details, but they were talking about something called like a cube crawl, crawling around people's yeah. cubes and stuff. I yeah. have never, yeah. I have never worked, and I, look, trust me, I mean, I believe these people. There's enough, there's enough uh, firsthand reports that these stories I believe are 100 percent accurate, but. I've never worked, um, yeah, just, I've been fortunate. Just never worked in that type of, you know, frat boy mentality bullshit. I, I got to say, a lot of times, uh, people in my jobs, have, uh, people of power, have always been women. I mean, the, my current role right now, my boss is a male and his boss is a male. But three months ago, that was not the case. My boss was a female and her boss was a female. Um, and my last job prior to this, the owner of the company, the CEO was a female and my boss was a female. I don't know. It's just disappointing to see, uh, people acting like that. I don't know. I think it's real strange for me because I've never really worked outside of the government really for my majority of my life. So not saying that this doesn't go on in the government. It does. But oh yeah. I'm sure that I'm not, sure there's different, diff- you know, the, um, what do they always talk about in the government? The, um, the people that work, that work for the politicians. What are those people called? Like yeah, not, sure. not like not handlers, but you know, like when you were brought around, Matt. When you're when your uh, congressman or senator got you into the White House and all those people, I'm sure they had. Well, I forget what those people are called. The 
of like their interns and co ops and stuff, and then yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sure they had to go through yeah those yeah. those interns like White House interns. I'm sure they had to go through a lot of yeah. oh yeah, a lot of BS. People, people just need to act better. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, Eric, it's been a uh, it's been a bad week for the for the. For the folks there, and they're wondering. I saw some uh, scuttle button going, and maybe that's why the guy who was doing Overwatch left. Yeah, but he had to say anything about that, has he? No, and you know, the I, reason, I, he put out a blanket statement. He didn't. He didn't say why he left. He just yeah. And the two the two guys that left Xbox to come to Blizzard, they've been silent all week on fucking Twitter. Mikey Barr and Rod Ferguson. You know, Rod was with Gears, and Mikey Barr was like the uh, VP over at Xbox. They were normally very, very chatty on Twitter. As soon as that news broke, not a word, not a fucking. But if word. they come out, but if they come out and say anything, that'll probably mess up the chances of going somewhere else. Because a company be like, I don't want that drama over here. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm yeah, sure. Like, I'm sure there's a corporate. Yeah. I'm sure it's a like. Even their social media accounts, I guess, were all quiet. Yeah. I'm sure it was a corporate thing. Like, hey. Shut it down. Yep. All right, Matt. What have you been up to? What have you been playing? Uh, been doing some uh, Red Dead Redemption. Been playing some more of that there on the uh, Series X. Been just going through that again. Going through and realizing how much of a idiot Dutch was, and his plans were horrible. You know, everything went to shit. Stuff like that. Uh, playing that. Um. Hanging out with you and Chase on game nights and stuff while you guys played uh, D&D, stuff like that. And then uh, watch that Loki series on Disney. That was pretty good. Yeah. That was a lot lot more entertaining than what I thought it was going to be. Um, You watched the whole series? Yeah, watched the whole series. Mm -hmm. Wow. It was good. It was was really entertaining watching that. And, you know, Loki's kind of a human person. You know, had a little, little heart and soul to him. Almost oh. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Um, watch that and yeah, that's about it. But enjoying not having to go to baseball and all this bullshit with that. It really enjoying baseball. that. I tell you what, man, I'm so oh god, I'm so happy that shit's over. I'm so fucking happy. They're talking, about, they're talking about doing fall balls, like fuck that. <laughs> no. I heard this no. um Does Christopher get into anything else but baseball? Does he, does he play anything else? No, baseball is his thing, dude. No, he loves baseball. He doesn't like basketball. He he likes to watch basketball. He, he likes to watch college basketball on TV. He likes to watch football, but he doesn't want to play. You know, it, baseball is his only thing that he likes doing. Yeah, yeah. He rides his bike around. He rides his bike, gets outside, but he sports wise, organized sports. No, nah, he don't like doing soccer. He don't like doing basketball, or football. He'll so watch it. But, I think this is it, or you think he's going to play next year? I'm pretty sure this is going to be it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure this is it. <laughs> well, I heard that there's a new large speaker in your house now. A, 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 <laughs> hot a, plate. A nice yep. hot. You got a nice hot plate this week. Yeah, yeah. Noah, Noah, if he ever drinks coffee, he can put his coffee cup on there to keep it warm. Uh, yeah, Noah found himself a uh, Xbox Series S at a uh, local Walmart. Um, nice. Yesterday, so oh, that's cool. yeah, he's he's loving it. He's he's real happy about that. So he's got everything he needs right now. He's got the PS5. He's got the Series S. Um, he went by himself a subscription to uh, Xbox um, Ultimate. Now he's just got to get. Now he's just got to get that LG TV. That's it. Right. Hey, what's he yeah. playing? What what type of TV is he playing on with all these new fancy hardware? He bought. He went out and bought himself a real fancy uh, 4K monitor oh, that nice. he's got everything hooked up to. So he's got himself a pretty sweet monitor. It's it's, it's sharp looking. Um, that he's got everything hooked up to. So shit. Well, yeah. next thing you know, next thing you know, you got to raise that rent. It Let's... it will it it will be there at some point here. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but he, but he, he's you gotta give it to him. He he's he's taking care of stuff. He's saving a ton of money. He's he saves a lot of his money now, even though he buys things here and there. He's saving up some money and stuff like that. So nice. I can't I can't I can't complain or say something when he, you know, buys something or something. He works hard. He works every day. He works hard. He's got a good job. So 
Nice. Yep. Yep. So what's he going to play on the Xbox that he couldn't play on the PS5? I have no idea. I still don't know what he's what he's going to do on that that he couldn't do. I know Halo. He he always did love Halo. So I'm there sure you, you know when that new one all or all that stuff comes out, he'll be on that. But I don't know. I, I honestly I don't know. Okay. So yeah. What about you, Mike? What have you been up to? Um, well, like I said, I played Death's Door a little bit this week. Uh, it's just not clicking right now. Give it a couple more tries and see how it, see how it plays out. You know, um, I'm, I am dying here and there. I don't know if you can get more than four health bars, Eric. I'm not sure if you've come across that. I know that those there's those plants that you can, you know, you collect those seeds and you put them in the plants, and then you can right. regain regain your health, health. there. Right. Um, but yeah, just you know, I'm dying quite a bit, and I'm not terribly pleased with the checkpoint system, you know. So I'm in this lost cemetery. I'm dying. Puts you all the way back at the end. I mean, you don't lose any of like the um, like the the currency that you've collected along the way. So like, if I had like a hundred, and then I got it up to like two forty five, and I die, I'm not back at a hundred again. I'd still keep everything I've earned. It's just, you know, it takes you all the way back to the beginning of the level and you got to walk. And it's not like it's like a small little map. You got to walk up and down all these stairs, go through these doors, up these ladders. There's, there's, a, a, there's a lot of traversal. Yeah. So, um, it's, you know, it's, not, it's just not clicking right now. But, I, you know, I'm going to keep at it for a little bit and see how it goes. Uh, Wednesday we did play uh, more of Dark Alliance with uh, Chase on our game night. They've made some updates to that game. Still a great-looking game. Um, I think next time Chase and I play, maybe we'll bump the difficulty up one level and see how it is. It's just too – I've said it before on the podcast that there's – the difficulty spikes really quick. But if you put it on, like, you know, the lowest difficulty, it's too easy, and you feel like you're just, you know, walking through the game like a hot knife through butter. But then you put it up, bump it up one level, and then you're dying a lot. There should be, I think, a setting in between those two. So we'll have to bump it up and see if they've made any changes over the last couple updates. Maybe they've they've done a f- done some adjustments. Mm. Um, other than that, I you know I don't watch a lot of television, guys. But somehow I was uh, down in the dumps work wise, and I was not into playing anything you know game related. So I just popped on uh, Ted Lasso. For I heard it's supposed to be funny get some laughs so i watched the whole uh first season of ted lasso and um they just came out with the new season but it's at one one episode per week so i'm on the um i'm on the first i finished the first episode on season two so i'm all ready to go now so you're liking it i did like it i thought it was a good show i thought it was funny yeah Yeah. i don't i don't know if they'll be able to capture that magic like at the end of the season, I was like, okay, does this warrant another season? You know, I just thought it like they wrapped it up really good. And so we'll see what happens with season two, you know. But, yeah, I, I did enjoy that. And it was, it was funny. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that. He's a soccer coach uh, from, like, the middle of the country, brought to London, England to coach a team in the Premier League because the um, – the woman who owns the Premier League, she just got the team from her ex-husband, and they have such a, a bad falling out. She's trying to do everything possible to tank the team because yeah. the, the team is her husband's pride and joy, and she wants him to, to uh, you know, be miserable. So she brought in this, you know, this middle-of-the-country hick to coach uh, this football team in London, the guy who knows nothing about, you know, soccer at all. So it's, it's like major league, but soccer. Instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought it was really well done. It's funny. So. It's good. And that's it for me. Um, let's see, games that are coming out this week. There's a bunch, Matthew. Uh, Flight oh, Simulator good. is coming out on the 27th. Yes. Two days. You're going to be good. trying that. I am. I am. That motherfucker is 150 gigabytes too. That I had to make some room on my X. To... Did you did you preload it yet? I am going to do that probably tomorrow night. Yeah, don't do it right Go now because we don't want to tank the podcast. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably tomorrow night. Oh, I'm going to start that down to that. But yeah, 150 gigabytes. Jesus Christ. But I've been yeah. seeing people play it. Been watching, you know, some streams. You've got like early access to it and that. And 
it looks like it's running great on it, man. So I'm, I'm curious to see how it runs with the uh, controller. Yeah, they said barely like just at 30 frames per second. That's what you're going to get? Uh, Something like that, yeah. Yeah. I'm not into it, but let me know how it goes. I'm curious to hear your your um, impressions. So that's coming out on the 27th. Um, yeah. Tribes of Midgard is out this week. That's that Gearbox Diablo type game. Um, that's coming out on PC and PS4, PS5. You know, somewhere between Diablo and what's that other game that we started, Matt? But we never got back. Torchlight, Torchlight Three. Torchlight Three. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's got it's got some vibes like that. Yeah. Um, the Ascent is out Thursday. Looking forward to that. Yeah. No. And uh, this other game, Blightbound. Is out what what is Blightbound? What is what is it's that? It's kind of a um, hack and slash. You know, instead mm. of instead of being top down like Diablo or or isometric like Diablo, it's more, you know, 2D maybe. Um, Romano Games is putting it out. They did that. Um, I think they did Awesome Knots. Remember Awesome Knots? Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. From the uh, 360 arcade games. So this is their new game. Devolver's publishing it. So a bunch of cool indie games coming out this week for sure. But uh, the, the Ascent is the one I'm looking forward to on Thursday. I'm going to try that. And that's out. Game Pass, right? That is Game Pass, yep. Yes. It is a big um, – let me pull up my phone here. It's a big month for Game Pass, Matt. Let me um, filter. Every it. month is a big month for Game Pass. Um, let me f pull out my phone because Phil tweeted out this uh, earlier. So we got Flight Simulator on uh, Tuesday, The Ascent on Thursday, August 13th, you have uh, Hades. August 19th, you have that game 12 Minutes. Have you seen that one? That top down with a, you keep, you know, they keep going a, back over and over. Like yep. Murder or something like that. And then mm -hmm. on uh, August 25th, uh, Psychonauts 2, which people have been raving about that they say that is a game of year contender as well. People that have already got hands on with it saying it's fabulous. So. Wouldn't you have to be? I, don't you got to be a fan of the first one? Because I wasn't really a big fan of the first one. So, yeah, I don't know. My son, my son, who doesn't play much of anything beyond the staples, you know, like you know, instead of playing the Overwatch for a while, there he was a Fortnite guy, and now he's been doing a lot of. He's always done Minecraft and Roblox, but he's been doing a lot of um, <clears throat> Star Wars Battlefront Two with his buddies because it's on Game Pass, I believe. Uh, he he played the original Psychonauts and said he he, he liked it, so he's looking forward to Psychonauts too. Nice. All righty. So that's uh, that's all the stuff coming to Game Pass. You picking up the Ascent on uh, Thursday, Eric? Absolutely. I'm looking that forward looks, to that. That looks pretty dope. We'll see. Hopefully they yeah. pull it off. And like I told you when I played the uh, trailer before, it just looked like the gameplay was a little slow. Hopefully it picks up a little bit. Hope it's not slow yeah. and plotting. Like you can move a little quicker. It's that in that whole cyberpunk vein, right? It's that whole look. I think the cyberpunk look with a Diablo Diablo-ish type camera angle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks pretty good. I'm excited. All right, let's get to the news, gentlemen. Really. Really? Okay, do you hear what he just said? Do you hear what he, he just said, why don't you, for once in your life, just do the fucking news? All right, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do, no, I'm gonna do the fucking news. No, here is the fucking news. All right, a lot of chatter in chat about headsets. <clears throat> I, like, I like the Astros. If you're going wired, I like the Astros. You can um, never go wrong with the Astros. Pumpkin Kings says he got a wireless steel series. I'm not sure which which steel series you got, but I have the Arctic uh, 7X for the Xbox. Those sound really good and are really comfortable. Um, I, I, this, I would assume this is for PC. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's why it's if so. it's If it is PC, I would just get a pair of Astro A40s for the PC. You go wired right right in with that, and 
Couldn't be happier. That's what I have on right now, the Astro A40s. Definitely for PC. What's up, Shonuff? Chase Nepo. I assume that's Mike. Okay. Okay. Um, and there's glove box in chat. Yeah. So the reason Whoa. I was, so the reason I was watching um, Ted Lasso this week, is because uh, PlayStation owners are now getting six months of Apple TV Plus for no charge. So I already have Apple um, TV Plus because I bought the Apple TV thing, and uh, unlike on Xbox, you know how sometimes with Game Pass they'll give you like. Oh, sign, sign up and we'll give you the Disney Plus a couple extra months or whatever. Well, that's only for new subscribers to Disney Plus. It doesn't stack. This, this allowed me to add six months on to my existing membership. So that was nice. So, nice. Yeah, so that's a pretty cool deal. If you got PlayStation uh, 5, it's only open to uh, PS5, not PS4. Anybody with a PS5, six months of uh apple tv plus so check, check i might out. check that with uh no because i want to watch that man to the what with that all mankind or that futuristic not futuristic that thing they had russia and united states race to the moon but it went different you know where russia got there first okay. i'd like to see that series all right I'm about, to, I'm about to try it because when i got my new phone it, it did come with apple plus right mike didn't it come with it did, yeah. You know, I was just looking at my, my phone. Uh, I have two more payments on my phone, and that's paid off. That's nice. Ain't that something? Payments on phones. Who ever thought the thing? I don't pay for them outright. Do you guys pay for them outright? Oh, I did. I didn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. I just, yeah. I bought carbon mines outright a couple years ago. I just put, them on the, put it on the monthly bill or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Two more payments, and then that thing is done. So that's nice. So, yeah, got a PS5, Apple TV Plus, six months, can't go wrong. Uh, moving on, August 20th, Eric, The Ghost of Tsushima DLC. Have you seen this trailer that they saw posted that. this week? Man, did it look great. Did you see that? Man. They're going all out with that. So Man, this is that... um, the, uh, the was, how do you pronounce the island? Is it Iki Island? Is it LKI yeah, or IKI? I think it's IKI. Iki Island. IKI. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a. Uh, they've unveiled this week that there's a Mongol tribe led by a shaman called Angsha Kutan, uh, known to her followers as the Eagle. And you don't want to piss off the Eagle, or bad things are going to happen to you. So this uh, island is wild, lawless land of raiders and criminals, scarred by memories of war and fiercely independent. The samurai have not been in control there for decades, and if they don't get the island under control, uh, it could threaten all of Japan. So looks like there's some really, yeah. some really cool shit there. Um, a lot more um, factions, lawless factions that you can run into. Some haunted... Uh, Haunted places as well. Mad monks, pirates, smugglers. I'm down for it. I wonder how much is gonna how much playtime is gonna add to it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh it's nineteen ninety nine to upgrade for us. So I'm looking forward to first playing the game with the PS five upgrade. I haven't done that yet. Either. And then get the DL get my hands in the DLC. That's a special Are you guys game. Are you guys going to play the whole thing over again? Yeah, I, I am so. on the PS5. I am, because I really didn't get too far in it, so okay. I'll play that and then go right into uh, the new stuff. Mike, yeah, you're just going to play the new stuff when it comes out? I think so, yeah. I think so. I mean, unless I really, really absolutely love it, and I'm like, fuck, i got to experience this all over again on yeah. the PS5. But I thought it looked gorgeous on the uh, PS4 as it was. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, Sucker Punch, man. It makes me want to go back. I never really played those infamous games. I just want to go well, back I and, those. and, man, and I play them. Great. They need to give a PS5 upgrade for those, man. That those. I'm, I, they I'm were they were kind of they were kind of before their time, man. Because the graphics on that game was looking outstanding on a four. 
You know, Eric, I'm surprised that they haven't come with any type of remake or even some type of DLC or addition to that game. Right. You know, because I, I played the, the last Infamous on the PS4. And my gosh, what an but even, but even fun game. Even still, it holds up now. If you, mm-hmm. if you check it out, it, it does. holds up. Yeah, yeah, it does. So I'm going to I'm going to definitely get into that after at some point. I need to I need to get into those games. Like I went back and played the uh, Mass Effect games. I need to go back and play the Infamous games. You so. might actually be surprised, Mike. You might you might enjoy this. Okay, I hope so. That's the whole idea. So, director's cut, Eric, twenty bucks for us to upgrade. Not too shabby. I know the Xbox people will say, "Yeah, we'd give it to you for free." It is what it is. I'm happy to pay the twenty dollars for Ghost of Su- more Ghost of Tsushima. It was just salami. Mm-hmm. I almost probably want you to ma- make you wish you had a PS5, Matt. Mm-hmm. Noah played this one yet, or not as bad? He did not. He did not play that. No, he did not oh, play that. The fantastic and, game. Yeah, yeah. I might be able to snatch that PS5 away from him, hook up down here or something like that, while he's messing around with his new series uh, S, and I actually just, maybe I play that. Say something else. Mess around with yeah, his, his I, girl. I, I saw Eric's fucking eyebrows perk up. <laughs> <The hell>? <laughs> 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 All right. Um, the e play, EA play was uh, this week. Did anybody watch that? No. Take, take I didn't that as watch a no. It so um, Codemasters has a new game called Grid Legends, which, you know, of course is racing, but there's supposed to be more of a uh, story this time around. You know, think about like those um, – what the fuck was that game? Midnight um, – the Rockstar game. What was that uh, Midnight – Midnight oh, it was on, it was on run. The, the 360. It was a Midnight Run, Midnight Racer, Midnight Night Run, or something like that. I remember what you're talking about, but I don't. I mean, I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember the name of it. But those games had were like definitely had racing elements to them because it was all about cars. But there was a story as well, right? Um, I'm not saying that this is on that same level, or this or that type of story. But there's supposed to be a uh, prominent story in this in this uh, game. Midnight Club. Thank you. Midnight Club. That was a good series. Was that only one game or two games shown off? I remember playing that on the 360, right? I think it was a couple games. I think it was two. Yeah. If I can recall. So, yeah, Grid, uh, Grid Legends is due on the t- uh, out next year. Check that out. I forgot that uh, EA has acquired Codemasters, too. So all those Grid games now come out on EA. Uh, Apex Legends Emergence was announced. There's their new hero, Seer. Season 10. Hard to believe that. Season 10 already for Apex Legends. That drops on August 3rd, so not too far away. I always liked Apex, but for whatever reason, just fell out. Yeah, I can recognize that it's a really great game, but uh, uh, not for the glove box and stuff. Well, they, they, it's not all... Um, battle royale anymore they have like arena mode you know so it's more you know 6v6 or whatever it's not it's not just all battle royale check it out again uh ea another ea original lost and random was announced your mileage might vary on this depending on the art style and everything it kind of has like a big like tim burton vibe to it if you're into his uh his types of movies but the uh, last couple EA um, originals have been good. It takes two. Certainly Matt and I played earlier this year and really enjoyed that. So hopefully uh, this one will do just as well. Uh, Knockout still City. The, Go ahead. I was just going to say, still in the game of the year conversation, it takes two. It takes two. Fabulous game. Fabulous. Yeah. Great game. Uh, Knockout City Season 2 is coming out. This is all about the movies. If you're into uh, into dodgeball, they're going to have a soda ball to uh, commemorate the occasion. You'll be able to play movie themed map called Hollowwood Drive-In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So July 27th, that comes out Tuesday. And then the last two big announcements were Battlefield, of course, uh, 2042 coming out. Something called Battlefield Portal, almost like. Uh, if you can think up the match, 
you can create it and then you publish it to the portal. So in the um, in the trailer, they showed a team of like what it almost was like sixty like sixty four v first sixty four, one whole team full of guys with knives versus one whole team full of guys with those like uh, electronic def- defibrillators. You know, so they were shocking everybody, and one team was just knifing everybody. So you can have create those types of matches and upload them to the portal. No, see how how old that gets quick. But it does look like a nice game, though. I know Matt's pumped up for Battlefield when it comes out later this year. The more I see, I guess the more I'm excited about it. I'll probably pick yeah. it up. You picking it up, Eric? Yeah, yeah, probably so. And then the last big one was um, Dead Space, right? Yeah, Dead Space remake. So what do you guys think? I mean, Dead Space 1 and 2 are some of my favorite games. And you think a remake is what the series needs now? I mean, yeah, they, like God of War had a remake, but it was, they, you know, they completely knocked that out of the park. Is that what they're trying to, you know, they're trying to like yeah. fight out of, like dead, instead of doing a Dead Space 4, they're, t- they're remaking the first game, right? Yeah, it's no different from Mass Effect, their remake. You well, know, that was a, all these other. Well, Mass Effect wasn't a remake. Mass Effect was a like a remastered same game. This is building it from the from the ground up, like no existing assets or anything. They're taking, you know, they're going to take some liberties with it too. They're going to add some more modern elements to it. Where the Mass Effect games it was those games that they just you know upresed and did some some niceties to. This is a brand new from the ground up. And my yeah, question I think is, I, I think I want to advance the story more because most people, I'm, I mean, I'm just going out on the limb on this one. Most people who have, who are a fan of Dead Space, I mean, it's going to be great, but most people who are a fan of Dead Space already played it, right? So, so you're just going to give it to me and you're going to make it look prettier again. I mean, that's, that's fine, but let's, let's go on with the story, I think, or let's flush it out a little bit more. I would think. I see no different from all these other games doing remakes and remasters and all that I stuff. I mean, same thing. And, and you're right, but all of those need to be going forward also. You know, yeah. it's like we're just stagnating with the same stuff over and over and over and over. I'm trying to move <clears> forward. We've got these new co- consoles and some new stuff. Where's Blue when you need them? So this is uh, Rebuild Dead Space by EMA, EA Motive using the Frostbite engine. Anytime you have engine talk, you need Blue on here. Because he loves to talk about game engines, um, but yeah, it's it's being built from the ground up, and you know it's going to take a lot of uh, stuff that we know from the first game, and then they're going to have some probably poetic license to add some other stuff in to modernize it, flush out the story a little bit more, make it a little bit more sci-fi horror of of this generation than the previous ones, so. I'm always for new and better things than new and old things, I guess. But, hey, if they yeah. can knock it out of the park and make it really cool, then, then that's good. Um, either way, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool either way, but I don't know. I just want something more, I guess. Let's see what Chad is saying here. Uh, Pumpkin King says that uh, Battlefield Portal looks crazy. Show enough said grid is fantastic and hype for legends. I thought what they showed of legends looked really good. And I'm not a big racing guy or really into cars that much. Um, Battlefield is cross play. Um, let's see here. Chase corrected me and said God of War was a sequel, not a remake. Thank you. Uh, show enough. Uh, Dead Space remake is going to be fire. They're adding elements that they had to leave out of the original due to tech limitations. Yep. Yeah, I mean. Hey, I'd rather have, I guess if I think about it, I'd rather have an awesome game with an awesome story. And we know this already, and we already know that both of those exist, where if they did a Dead Space 4, it's a crapshoot, right? We don't know where they're going with the story. or You know, Dead Space 3 was a little wonky with the whole, it was more of a shooter, Dead Space 3, than it was a horror game. You know, 1 and 2 were fantastic, but I don't know. Just don't fuck it up, EA. So that's all I'm right. saying. <clears throat> You picking it up, Eric? Of course, right? Yeah, I'm going to get that. Matt, no. Matt's done buying new games. Only if it's on Game Pass. Matt's been burnt too much to buy new games. Yep. 
Yep. Looking at you, looking at you, Bio Mutant and Cyberpunk. I I, I deleted Bio Mutant off my Xbox the other day. <laughs> I played like two hours of that game. Wow, that was it. Okay, horrible game. <laughs> Cyberpunk Cyberpunk is no longer on my Xbox either. Wow, are you going to ever put it back on? Maybe if they ever get around to fucking doing an upgrade to it. To what the game is actually supposed to be, I might, but nope. Even okay. the fucking patch that came out with that game is still Mike. Up. Mike, Matt is the Matt is the the customer that they need to be talking to, because I think Matt will give it to him straight from the hip, and I don't think he'll <laughs> cut it. I don't think he'll cut it. I think he'll say it just like that to Phil Spencer. That's right. So, wh- what is the next game that you're looking forward to getting, Matt? So I know to avoid it. <laughs> is there is there one game out there that you're like, wow, I'm 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 buying that no matter what? Is it the is new it battlefield? battlefield? The new <laughs> battlefield. It. I'm fuck. I'm out. Yep, yep. I, I but I'm not pre-ordering it though. I'm not pre-ordering that shit. No, you know? no, no kung fu grip uh, deluxe edition. Just getting nope. straight up vanilla. Yep. Just what's getting. The game? Yeah. What's the game you're looking for, Mike? That's a good question. Um, fuck, that is. I'd have to think about that. The new Zelda, I, maybe. I know mine. The uh, K- Kanya, the Bridge of Spirits. I think. Oh that's yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. That, I'm, I'm, that lo- I'm looking for that. Yep, that's coming out on the PS5 for sure. Um, for that oh, the Far Cry. I got, I'm really looking to the next. Oh yeah, that's yeah the Far, Cry. Far Cry game. That's like that's like October yeah. though, right? Something yeah. Like that. Yeah. Well, I think the Zelda game would be next year, probably. They don't even have a date for that. Um, yeah. You know, Back for Blood. You know, I, I'm looking for something that I can just, like, sh- do a lot of destruction and shoot some shit, you know? You got these bad work days, and you yeah. just want to go, like, you know, just have some mindless destruction. Back for Blood might be that game. I don't know. Um, yeah, Chase says, every battlefield sucked for the first week for server issues. Give it a week or two, Matt. I'm not sure where that's coming from. I didn't say anything about that. <laughs> He's just telling you, <laughs> don't let it sway your opinion right out of the chute. You don't have to wait for them to stabilize their servers. We know you got a quick hook, buddy. We know you're over there like fucking uh, Billy Martin. Yep, get him out. <laughs> He's gone. Take him out. He's done. Hey, uh, Kevin asked, are we playing the Ascent? Yep. Yes. We, yeah, we talked about that. that. Yes, that, we're going to be playing that. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Now that's on uh, p- the the little image that uh, Phil tweeted out for the ascent has Xbox, PC, and looks like I think that's the cloud image there where you got like the tablet and everything. So yeah. is that is the ascent also out on Steam or is the ascent just uh, to um, the Windows Game Store? Is that going everywhere? Let me check. I'll check Steam right now. I'll tell you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the reason I ask is I know Shonoff doesn't have Game Pass, I don't believe, do you? So I'm curious where you're picking it up. Unless he has Game Pass, then I, I take everything I said back. He says it's on Steam. It's on Steam. It's on Steam. Okay. Yep, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. All right. And it's uh twenty six ninety nine on Steam. Um, Ubisoft announced a free-to-play game this week, guys. Maybe that could try that out for some game night. It's uh, Tom Clancy's X Defiant, a free-to-play multiplayer shooter. Um, so this is a uh, next game entry in the Tom Clancy universe, a free-to-play 6v6 shooter featuring groups across the Tom Clancy universe. So you'd be able to play as, you know, characters from Ghost Recon who are called the Wolves or Splinter Cells, the Echelon, Outcast and Cleaners from the Division and more. Um, So not a Battle Royale game. Arena Shooter, 6v6. What do you think about that, Matt? Sounds exciting. Something you would give, give a try to? Yeah, I think so. 
So it's going to be on PS5, PS4, Series X, S1, Stadia, Luna, your television, your microwave, your TVs, okay. <clears throat> everywhere. They're going to bake that shit everywhere. everywhere. And um, so it's you know typical 6v6 type game. It's going to include uh, modes like domination, escort missions, and a number of different maps. It's interesting to take characters from the existing universe and have them team up in this type of thing. You know, so where are they making their money then? Skins, right? I would imagine yeah. in this day and age they're going to stay clear of loot boxes and that type of crap, pay-to-win scenarios. But uh, lots of skin and gear for your characters. Yeah, skins, emotes, all that type of thing. Probably, be, you know, where they want to make their money off of, that mm -hmm. type of stuff. Season probably you know probably some type of seasonal thing or something like that you know. So you uh, sign up for a beta now and it will be out August fifth. The planned beta is for August fifth on PC. So to check that out could be interesting. I was playing um was just before I jumped into Lasso, I was kicking some games around. I booted up Borderlands three for a hot minute because I was like trying to figure out like what I had. In played DLC and I couldn't really figure it out but they've gone like a season type thing and daily quest that you can do in that game now did we know about that there was like that last tab yeah. the last tab on the screen it has like you know kill X amount of enemies do this do that yeah it's like like challenges type of thing you know they yeah. had daily weekly ones to, to do and all that stuff yeah yeah and you get rewarded for uh, getting that stuff done in that so, yeah. I was trying to try to keep you know keep it fresh and everything. I was trying to play a little bit of that extraction mode, whatever it's called. I keep getting mm -hmm. my ass handed to me. I wanted to play that with more people than just myself. Let's try that together sometime. Yeah, I couldn't get past like a couple waves, and I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" Yeah, probably have. Yeah, the, we should the, try that out. I probably have the which call it on too high. The uh, mayhem. Yeah. And you boot that game up now, and it's all about the crossplay. It tells you, you know, do you want to enable it? What's your name going to be? Blah blah blah. Yeah, um, yeah, they're, they're huge on uh, pushing that. No. So we'll have to maybe with Chase and every, you know, I'm not sure how many people can get in that arena. Um, I forget what the mode is called, but we'll have to try that out. See how many weapons yeah. we, we can extract or something. Yeah, sounds sounds like it'd be a good time. Might be fun. Absolutely. And the last bit of news that I have here is that Steam Deck uh, UI is going to replace big picture mode. Now, for guys like us who like to play Steam on uh, televisions and stuff, you know, big picture mode was kind of like uh, made like more of like a console experience, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But they're even, they're going to do away with it. There's no timetable right away, but. Um, Steam Deck is running an all-new version of the operating system called SteamOS 3.0. And so they're going to the, redo, the redesigned UI is going to come to the PC client as well, and it's going to replace Big Picture. And many people are, are welcoming this because they say Big Picture hasn't been uh, updated in a long time. It's felt a little bit of a somewhat of a dated experience. So... Steam Deck is coming out in December. Valve hasn't yet given an ETA on when the new UI will make its way to existing PCs, but it is uh, it is happening at some point. So for all you people in chat and stuff, how does that make you feel that Big Picture is going away and they're going to have this new UI? I, so, I never really use Big Picture. I mean, Grant, I never had my computer hooked up to the uh, PC or to the TV. But I, I I don't see the big deal with this. Okay. I don't know how many people actually use that, but now is um Noah shown any interest in Steam Deck? Is he uh yeah. Yeah, he is until he found out, you know, the price to get for the big model, you know, to get, you know, actual storage in it. He was not thrilled about that, so he kinda backed off on it. Six hundred kind of some bucks. Yeah, what the cheapest ones? What three hundred for sixty four? Yeah, three nine nine for what sixty four gigabytes? Yeah, which you're not going to put a lot of games on that. 
No. Um, so the big well, you one can buy was, expansion. Yeah. You can buy those, um, you know, micro micro <laughs> cards to put in there. Oh, can you? I, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. What? Okay, because those, I mean, those are getting pretty cheap. So just like you can on the Switch, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah I think I wonder, it makes you wonder: Can you run all? Can you run all games off of the card, though? Right. Depending on what type of game it is, you know, some games are pretty. No matter, you know, depending on who you talk to, some people say, you know, talk to like Jeremy Hoodie Ninja. Well, his expectations are very low with this thing because he's seen a lot of bad ports come to the Switch. And some people who you talk to say that the whole porting isn't going to be a big issue because Valve's got it figured out somewhat with their their new Steam OS. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not enough deep in the weeds to give you an answer one way or the other if this if this is going to be a problem or not, or Valve's got it all figured out. I don't know. I'll rely, I guess, on the experts. So I'm just happy to have my my place in line, and I hope between now and December. Uh, more details come out so I can make an educated, like, yeah, this percentage of games are going to work. These types of games won't work. You know, you know, get some, some better, you know, expectations set. And then I'll make a decision if I want to move forward with it. Yeah. Uh, what's yep. going on in chat? Chase says, big picture mode hasn't changed since 2012. Shafi says, hey. Um, and everybody else says, hey to Shafi. Okay. Uh, show enough says, just hope dock mode at 60 frames per second. They haven't given out too much information on that steam on that dock yet. Have they? No. Nope. That's a, And that's a separate purchase. You have to buy that separately. That doesn't come with any, with any price point. And that's and that primarily... price point is probably going to be hefty too. It also, if it, if they're going to make it 60 frames a second, something like that. Now, how does, I'm not up on my all my USB to uh, USB C to HDMI. Can can USB C go to HDMI 2.0? I assume um, there's no HDMI input on the on the Steam Deck. It's a USB C input, so I assume it's a USB C to HDMI. Can you do USB C to HDMI 2.1? Does that exist? I have no clue. Mm-hmm. Shonoff says they've released a list of games that are not working. I think it's about seven games. And Destiny is one of them. Just like you said last week, right? Because of the whole anti-cheat? Mm-hmm. That's, that's a big one. Well, Destiny never worked that well on... Uh, was it the Vita? Like when you try to do remote play on the Vita? Yeah, I never tried to do it on the Vita. Yeah, you, yeah, you know, know. like you can remote into the PS4 and do remote play. I thought, I thought Destiny was a game that was notorious for not working. Like even like um it worked okay with Stadia once once I got that bug fixed, but I'm not sure Destiny's the game that you try with these things. But it is the game that people want to play mobile um in these types of situations because they want to get their dailies in and things like that. Yeah, so, that one Apex um uh... Warzone, I think, was another one. I think that that won't won't work well. That's because of the cheat, anti cheat stuff and all that. So they're going to get that figured out. Yeah. Yep. You're right, Eric. Yeah, the people who are going to buy these things are going to want to play those things. You know, everybody if, eventually at some point, some of us will go back to work, right? And then people will be commuting or whatever on their lunch break. They want to get their shit in. You know, play a little bit. Yeah. Not me, though. I'm a work-from-home lifer. I can't see myself going back to an office. Especially with the wife picking up more jobs left and right. Eh, why do I even get to work? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this shit's overrated. <laughs> got to stack paper. As Al would yeah. say, we got we to gotta stack that yeah. paper. Stack episode, paper, baby. Apparently today on Twitter, we peaked at episode 42, gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, since, this since is, the, yeah. Since then, it's been a slow decline. Mm -hmm. Uh says, I'm hyped to cash in on those deep deals, those deep, deep discounts. You have the Steam Winter Sale. By the time you get the Steam Deck, they'll time it right for the, the Winter Sale. Everybody be buying those games on there. There you go. Yeah. 
Uh, so speaking of voicemails, we got a couple. A couple. Let's uh, let's oh. roll into them right now. I think. Um, let's see who called in. I think Al left a message. So let's let's roll over to Al. What's going on, boys? Al here. Been a while. How's everybody doing? Doing all right here, I guess. Been playing some games lately, haven't we all? I've been, uh, I've actually been hours deep in a JRPG called Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. It's, uh, it's a long game. I've got like 80 hours into this thing already. It's got like, you know, school, it's a, like medieval style role playing game and like, friendship, kind of like Persona if you ever played that. It reminds me of that a little bit with the social aspect of it. I've been playing that and, I actually grabbed Monster Hunter Stories 2 on my Switch. That is uh, a game that is easy to become obsessed with. There's like a whole, you know, egg hatching and hunting thing, and then like monster breeding. The story's pretty good. The combat's a lot of fun. Um, I'm liking it a lot more than the other Monster Hunter games because it's not, you know, like a hard arcade fighter you know, like like Monster Hunter World is, this is more like Final Fantasy or Pokemon, you know, turn-based combat. And it's actually really, really good. Uh, highly recommend it if y'all aren't already playing it. And, um, yeah, I just, I hope y'all are doing really good, and I'm looking forward to listening in to the show tonight. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll catch y'all soon, man. Hope everybody's well. Have a good one. And catch soon. See ya. All right, Al, thanks for calling in. He plays a lot of games that we don't play. You notice that? Mm-hmm. That's good. There's a lot of people that play a lot of games that we don't play. <laughs> right. he, he's, he's got a lot of indies, a lot of, you know, he, he's on the indie scene kind of heavy, I, I believe. And he does a lot, well, he does a lot of, stra- I think, strategy, like in JRPG type games, too. I think he tweeted out that he was playing a game called RimWorld, and I was trying to look for an appropriate gift, a GIF. For that, and uh, I think work like like most things got in the way of my excitement because I wanted to just you know I was looking for that animated like SpongeBob gif you know where he like makes that like really like you know that yeah. that phase of you know, RimWorld huh you've been playing a lot of that RimWorld again uh-huh. Right? yeah yeah uh-huh. yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, yeah um, Monster Hunter is one of them games where I tried to play I just couldn't get into it I, I yeah, don't I'm, same same I I tried and tried and it's just like man this is something. I know huge, yeah, I, mean, I know it's a huge game, but a lot of people love it and that. It's like, ah, this is, this is not for me. It's okay, though. But, I've come but, to the realization that even if a game is not for me and other people are liking it, it's okay. Yeah, oh, you, yeah you, can so. see, you, can, right. you can see why it's popular, though, right? You can look at it yeah. and say, okay, I, I can see why this is pretty yeah. yeah. It just doesn't uh, click. Yeah. Like that Death Store, I keep trying. Like Returnal, I keep trying. Returnal's really dope. I just... I'm just not that good at it, and the whole like starting over thing again is like I need a Sherpa. That's what I need. Yeah, but yeah, good for Al getting all those games in. Look at him, three three daughters, very young, and getting all the eighty hours into a game plus a full work schedule and a podcast. Go listen to the Retro Rents podcast. So, He's putting did, the work in. When yeah. does he sleep? Don't know. He doesn't seem like a guy that sleeps that much either. Uh, Shonoff says Monster Hunter is pretty great. World brought me into the series. Is that the, is that the one that's the most uh, accessible? I think that's what I've been hearing a lot of podcast people say. If you want to jump into that series, World might be the uh, entry point. But correct me if yeah. I'm wrong. If I'm confusing it with something else, I will no, but, correct you if you're wrong. I, I, I still think it's not worth the <laughs> point. You know, between <laughs> between Monster Hunter and uh, Near the Near games. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't uh-huh. I yeah. can't keep track of how many games of this like. S- seems like every week there's like a new Near game. Like I think Nier something two point two point this and that blah 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 blah, blah, blah and something Near yeah, Incarnate yeah. coming out. Rise is the most accessible. Okay. Let's see, I knew. It. Yeah, I know. I know. Kevin plays a lot of that, man. They 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 play a lot of that. And so, right, and then Rise Two just came out, right? That's what Al was talking about. Rise Two. So. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, Rise is the most accessible. All right. And World must have been the one that me and you played, Matt, that wasn't yeah. accessible. Yeah. At least not for us, it wasn't. <laughs> no, no. No. All right, who do we got left here in a voicemail? We got Chase. Oh. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Chase here. Uh, the, uh, I had two drunk. things to um, talk about. Well, the first thing is, like, the hearing thing. Yeah, I mean, I get that, too. I don't know if it's, I mean, I'm sure it's just getting older. And, um, I mean, I, I was in punk rock and hardcore bands as well as Mike, not as prolific as Mike, but yeah. But anyway, the, um, so, uh, but, but I think the main issue is modern TVs is that they all sound like shit. Like it's like there's no front facing, facing speakers because the, the whole front, no bezel, you know, it's, they're all like inside of the TV, like kind of in the back. And, um, <clears throat> I think, uh, a lot of that is, um, it, it just kind of reverberates inside of the TV or it's just kind of, it's not, the sound isn't coming out at you. And I think a sound bar might could help if, I mean, you may already use a sound bar and then, I, I didn't know if you used one or not, but I mean, that could probably help. And, uh, the other thing is, um, when we were talking about how, uh, the, sorry, my mind blanked all of a sudden. But anyway, we were talking about um, that a lot of good games are coming out, or anticipated games are coming out in 2022. I was really thinking about that. Like, has it been like that in other um, gaming consoles, or has it just been um, just been the current one? And I'm pretty sure it's been like that since. For a while, you know what I mean. Damn. <laughs> trying, trying to look up what, what I was uh, talking about. Went down real quick. <laughs> I think you went to the mother's milk again. I, I, so yeah, like um, here we go. The in 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 two uh, for sixty PS3 era, it was you know most of the games that were like highly anticipated came out in two thousand seven, two years afterwards. You know, Bioshock, Call of Duty 4, Halo 3, Mass Effect, the Orange Box, a lot of those. And then for the um, the last generation, The Witcher 3, Fallout 4, you know, Bloodborne, Arkham Knight, Halo 5, uh, Star Wars Battlefront, all those come out in 2015, two years after the consoles come out. So I think, you know, if you're already an adopter, you have to kind of wait two years for the big anticipated games to come out, you know, just kind of nature of the beast. But yeah, so 2022, it's going to be pretty cool, I think. All right, later, guys. <clears throat> well, Matt needed two years to save up for his PS5 anyways, save up those Biden bucks. So that should, yep. I think that's, yeah, I think what he's saying there is true. Um, you know, they say developers really don't hit their stride until a couple years in. You know, they're just wrapping their head around the technology. COVID and all that certainly has had an impact on some of these games getting delayed. So there's a lot of truth to that. Now, getting back to the hearing thing, um, Matt, I know Slaterific tweeted you this week, put some sort of solution in your ears to clean out the wax. Have, where are we with that? Have you tried that, yes or no? That is not the issue. Okay, and that's not happening, so that's not the issue. Um, now tell us about... When you're watching shows with Barb and you can't hear things, are you down here in the basement or you're upstairs? A little bit of both? It don't matter. Do you have, it doesn't matter, okay. Do you have sound bars or any sort of speakers or are you rocking the um, – just? I, do. Just, I, I bought a sound bar specifically for this TV downstairs to try and help with that issue, and it has not, it has not helped at all. No. So you're just chalking it up there. The ears are just expiring. Yes, I'm getting old and my ears are expiring. Yes, that is now, what. Now, the closer yes. you get to the television, do you get any, you hear better? No? No. Because I would recommend the nice Klipsch uh, $80 <laughs> speakers. Now, I was looking yeah. at, guys, I was looking what, what, today, what I need. What I need is something. Like, like megaphone besides, you put in your ear? <laughs> yeah, one of them old-timey things to put in my ear. No, what I need is something you know, you besides you post-captioning. To enhance the uh, vocals instead of all the other sounds, 
you know, all these theater yeah. systems uh, are based on the thumping and the sounds, the surround sound, all that stuff, but not the uh, vocals and the voices of the people talking. That's, that's maybe some some of those can concentrate on uh, voice. It depends on which one you get. You know, I was looking at uh, today, Eric, at the uh, Klipsch uh, system, the new cinema system that they came out with. It's uh, sixteen ninety nine for the sound yeah. bar, subwoofer, and uh, two wireless uh, remote speakers. Sony's also got a, a new one that just came out. It's the first um, sound bar with HDMI two point one, and it's got two inputs, so you could hook your PS five and your Xbox up to it. Um, Sick. And that that was I think I was going to say the price on that was twelve ninety nine. And uh, it doesn't come with any uh, subwoofer or, or speakers, though. But they're just starting to roll out the sound bars now with the HDMI 2.1. Are you guys, for those guys who have, for you have sound bars, how many of you guys plug the console right into the sound bar versus plugging the console into the TV and then the sound bar into the TV through the HDMI arc and then just turning in the settings saying, hey, I want my sound to come out of the HDMI arc. See, I have uh, AV receivers. I don't have sound bars. Oh, excuse and me. Excuse I, excuse I, plug, me. I plug it right into the... Uh, yeah, you plug, I plug it right, it right in. in. You know you plug See, it right in. I plug it right into the receiver. So, oh, that works. Uh, what, are you, what are you, Matt? Uh, I, it, when I do it through the TV, I plug my uh, Xbox into the sound bar. Straight into the soundbar. Is that what you're supposed to be doing? Straight into the soundbar versus, like the TV, like the. Yeah, I got the TV. The TV to the soundbar is uh, HDMI arc. Okay. Right. And that's you know, supposed to be the best sound. And then my when I do my Xbox or I, my 4K player, my 4K player is sir, directly sir, into the back of the uh, soundbar. I, in- I don't mean to interrupt you, but you got some duties to do in chat, sir. Ooh, I want to become famous. <laughs> big follows, big follows. Hey you guys, are... don't. I mean, come on, don't be a fucking idiot. Don't don't click the links, okay? <laughs> yeah, well, Crystal I, Chase mod. No I, shit. I clicked them all, Matt. My why is my why is my TV right now? Why is my monitor like blinking? I got all sorts of shit going on. Well, that's um, your own fault. <laughs> what was I going? See, the sound bars, you know, I have so many devices plugged into my TV. Like, I don't know which, like, I don't want to be getting in the game of, like, unplugging this HDMI from my sound bar. I just plug them all into the TV, you know, like, so I got the Samsung QLED yeah. behind me that's got the big uh-huh. box. I plug everything into the big box, and I have the sound bar plugged into the box, too. And then, you know, you go into the settings for every input, and you say, you know, what should the sound be? And the sound is supposed to come out of the sound bar. See, the biggest right. mistake I think they made was taking the uh, optical off of these new systems. Yes, yep. It, it, they shouldn't have done that, but whatever. But apparently, you don't need it anymore with, with the new arc and, all that and, and the yeah. new HDMI and all that. Yeah. yeah. But see, sometimes you want to split the sound. You want to take this. You want to have, I think, you want to have the, the signal from the game going straight into the TV. You don't want to have anything in between that. But the sound has to be decoded. Around sound, Dolby, Atmos, anything like that it has to be decoded. So it has to go through the sound bar or the receiver first. And I think that uh, degrades the picture a little bit. Depends. What you run in. Yeah, it dep- yeah, it depends on the equipment and stuff. Some some of the sound bars, yeah. some of the A B receivers can I'm just throwing pass all my through sh- that four K oh, content. What I'm hearing, yeah. Eric, is I just need to throw all my shit in the garbage tonight and start over. That's what I'm hearing. I mean, gotta, yeah, gotta, that's a cost. That's I a gotta, costly start over, though. I got a I got a yeah. garbage setup. Is what, you, what I'm hearing over here. And Mike, with you, you Mike, you're gonna be doing it constantly. You're gonna be you're doing. Gonna, you're gonna be throwing your shit away constantly. Yeah. With my There's ears, no keeping up with this shit. With my ears, the way they are, I don't think I'd be able to tell a difference. Yeah. You know. So. So I don't know. You know, I understand going right to the sound bar, but I've never done that because I'm not playing the HDMI game. You know what I mean? I'm just fucking plugging all my shit into the back of the television, and the sound bar goes into the back of the television, and the settings, I say, 
all right, this channel, everything's coming out of the soundbar. So you know how I fixed it? I've, I've, I turned everything into the TV, and I used my television optical to come out and go into my receiver. Right. And that's why you were, that's why you were getting out of the uh, – that's why you were saying that the consoles had that. You could do yeah. that. Yeah. I had to do that for one of my LG TVs upstairs. The sound bar wouldn't work anymore with the HDMI arc. And I was like, I don't know if it was the input on the, the, for the uh, sound bar on the back of the television. But once I went to optical and I bypassed the whole fucking um, arc thing, sound bar worked great again. But here we now, go. I do know, you know, with, with, here, with my Sony here, I bought a Sony sound bar, real nice Sony sound bar. And like the TV automatically knew and recognized what it was. Oh, yeah. And, so, and, yeah, and, all did, the, and did and did all the settings and everything for me. Yeah, all the newer cool. TVs do that now. They have the imprint. Yeah, it was really cool that it. I mean, it knew and it fucking set everything up for me and stuff like that. So I don't have to mess. I have to worry about if I'm getting the actual right sound and settings and all that stuff. The same thing with the Samsung. It knew it and recognized it instantly. But you know, they don't make Klipsch doesn't make TVs, right? Mm-hmm. So they so what happens with the t- when I plug that soundbar because I don't hear too many people saying all right I'm going to have a Sony soundbar and I'm going to plug it into an LG TV right usually if people have an LG TV they're getting the LG soundbar or they're getting something like you know someone who's just known for speakers like Klipsch buy that you think you know Klipsch Bose something like think, that and that should, TV should still that imprint like like Eric was talking about it should still pick it up right. You would think, yeah. Should know right yeah. away what it should know right away what it is. Sixteen ninety nine, Eric. It looked mint too. Nice wood on it, wood grain on it. Yeah, that's some balling stuff. I'm excited to get the uh, TV hooked up back upstairs again with the nice. I got the real fancy LG soundbar for the, for the OLED upstairs. All yeah. the, the the floors and painting are done now, so all that shit's getting hooked back up again. Clips. Lots of lots of money, bro. Lots of money. Clips makes this one. They make this one nine point two surround system. Man, let me tell you, it's fantastic. How much? But you know, I think it costs like thirty five hundred, just for the speakers, bro. How many how many months of um, how many months of Biden bucks does that <laughs> does that cost? take well none none for the glove box i don't know y'all the ones with the kids i don't i don't know nothing about that can matt can you get noah with the biden bucks or just christopher no no it's too old so you're only getting one huh yep yep you and barb better you and barb better get to it oh no Make some more babies. it'd be the fucking second coming of jesus if that were to happen he's <laughs> trying to tell you that he's shooting blanks Yes, sir. Oh, and, man. And Barb's oven's a dud, so. <laughs> I mean, there's. No happening, no. No, no. 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 no it'd be a goddamn miracle of Christ if there another kid pops out. Wow. We're, um, we're living dangerously over here. Fuck that. It's the way, it's the way, oh, God, no. it's the way God wanted it, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. That's the way God wanted it. That's the way God hey, wanted it, right? You are, you yeah. are correct, yeah. sir. <laughs> Yeah. The one time Lindsay. I agree. The one time I agree with that guy. All right, let me you guys, have, you guys got no type of control going on at all. No, just, I got my own, my own control, sir. Okay, well, all right. All right, so that you can everybody see this on just the screen? No yes. Sony might yeah. have made perfect so, soundbar. So this is the the new Sony uh, soundbar that's being rolled out. Um, worse. So. HDMI 2.1 pass through, full support for 8K, 4K gaming at 120 hertz, Dolby Vision, HDR, eARC, and more. So $1299 for the uh, A7000, priced at $1299. Two HDMI inputs. And if you want to buy the other shit, you know, add on. But here's what here's what they were talking about the clips. I'm gonna show you this bad boy. Um, let's see here. There we go. That's pretty. So it's firing up. So it's Atmos in yep. it too, right? Yep. 
sold out right now. 5.1.4. Okay, cool. That thing will probably, this thing will probably shake your goddamn walls. I guarantee it. Yeah, I know what this. That's legit looking. Yeah. Bigger, badder base. That's what you want, Matt. Just all that base. The Clip Cinema 12,000 Dolby Atmos soundbar system includes wireless surround speakers with integrated up firing elevation speakers. Besides the fact that I can't hear voice, I'm with the soundbar and the um, subwoofer combination here that I got with this system. Yeah, I'm happy with it, but I mean, I just can't hear people. But I mean, it it it'll fucking rattle the room. Yeah. It's pretty wild. I want to get. It's that. amazing what these soundbars what they can do nowadays. I definitely want to get this one, Eric. This thing will fucking. Yeah, that's that's legit. Look at this fucking. Leave it on the screen here. This next screen, yeah. I don't know what any of this shit means. It just looks fucking cool to me. Oh, it's subwoofer. Down firing subwoofer. That's cool. <laughs> At most speakers. Yeah. That's nice, man. Hey. We'll if see. I didn't have all the crap, if I didn't have all the crap I have, I would get that, but. I got all the crap. So. I re- that's never stopped you before. I don't need that. <laughs> I mean, that's if I needed it, I, I'd get it, but I don't need it. It's there. That's pretty cool, the app. Yep. I want it. I want it. Buy it. It's sold out. All right. Let's wrap this show up. We're almost at the two-hour mark. Any oh shout-outs, plugs, questions, or concerns, Mr. Glovebox, your TVs? You don't want to get burning on those TVs now, right? leaving them on like that. Those TVs don't get burned in, bro. That doesn't happen. <laughs> shout-outs, everybody in chat, man. Good to see Chalfie in there and Chonuff and Chase. And happy birthday to Jay again if he's listening. Uh, that's it for me, man. I'm glad to be off, man, and hang out with you guys. No, it's good to see your face, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anything you got over there to say, Marge? <laughs> yeah, Shotzi. Yeah, where's Shotzi too at? You, she, wouldn't <laughs> um, let, she wouldn't let you come in there with that beard. That's one thing. She'd have you shave that, that right off. That's right. You had to be clean shaven. But I no bet you tattoos. She, but I bet you she liked that scruffy. It's just she liked oh, the way no. that scruffy felt. No, you don't want to think of her having that, right? You don't want to think of her in that scenario. Oh, I do. Oh, man. <laughs> man. Man, this whole appetite is ruined now. Everything is ruined. Um, Blown out granny I panties. Forward. I was looking forward to some porn after this, but not now. <laughs> um, uh, Eric, it's absolutely wonderful seeing you in live in person here, man. Absolutely wonderful, that, Matt. I love it. It is great seeing you, man. And yeah. seeing your beautiful basement room there, dude, is awesome. And everyone in chat, I'm happy everyone in chat came in to enjoy the show with us and have a good time. It's lots of fun. And if you didn't, click on those links there in the chat there. I'm <laughs> sure it takes you and gives you wonderful things, wonderful <laughs> stuff to do. Okay? Don't worry about that shit, man. It'll be fine. It'll be mod, fine. Mod, where's the mod? Mod, mod. Mod. I can work some fucking thousand people watching the same mod, mod. I mean, come on, man. This ain't fucking Twitch. Come on. Anyways. Come on now. Come on now. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. It was, it was a lot of fun. It's always fun here on Sunday nights talking with you guys and interacting and having fun with everybody. So it's always a good time. Yeah. I uh, apologize to everybody if I uh, inflated your wallets with envy over these nice soundbar systems. I'll be salivating <laughs> over them over the next couple of days myself. Uh, but yes, good to have everybody in chat. It's been a quiet couple of weeks. I know it's uh, summertime and people are on vacation, so it's good to see all the friendly faces in uh, in chat. Chase and Pumpkin Kings and Show Nuff and Chaffee, everybody else. So thanks for hanging out with us and making it entertaining. Thanks to Eric and Matt for hanging out yet again on another Sunday. Thanks to the mosquitoes that were biting me throughout the uh, podcast. It's always appreciated. 
Never. I think that's out. just in your head. I don't think, I think there's so. anything. It's just, it, it's just so. in your head. You, you know, immersion. every little thing. It's yeah. the immersion I'm looking for, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Play some Red Dead and get bit by mosquitoes when I'm down in the swamps. You can't beat that type of immersion. You can't shake that with a stick. That's like but, 4D. Uh, but I look forward to maybe playing some games with people this week. Uh, we got some new stuff to get our hands on. Well, hopefully the Ascent is worthwhile. Maybe Borderlands. We'll see. Um, but hopefully I am, uh, I am praying to the work gods that it's a, it's a better week than last week. So I hope everybody else has a great week. Summer is still going strong, despite Eric saying earlier that the cold weather is coming. Uh, I think we gotta, we got still got a little bit to wait. Other than that, this has been uh, 171. We'll talk to you guys all next week. I was always a fan of the meat bat. All right. There we go. There we go. Good night, everybody.